you're in the ESIA classroom. This is a long way of saying low voltage. Everything in here is below 48 volts. It'll tickle you, but it won't kill you. We handle ethernet connections, we handle home automation, we handle um, alarm systems, door access, and if you get really, really good, we move you up to fire alarm. Working on today, and what you guys are learning today, and what we're trying to accomplish with this, is aspect ratio. Right? That, that was what we've been talking about for the past two days, aspect ratio and resolution. The point here is the four by three aspect ratio, right? This player, this GPD, or this laser disc player, displays the image in a lower resolution at a four by three aspect ratio. So that's why you need the CRT display in order to, to show it, right? Otherwise it's gonna look really stressed, it's gonna look really awful. If I was to take this image and put it on one of these displays, which is a 16 by nine aspect ratio, you would see all their faces and the whole thing start to get stretched out. So that's why if you've ever watched a movie, an old movie like this that was an original four by three aspect ratio, on that display, you'll see the black bars on the side, right? That way it keeps that square image. So that way the picture isn't getting stretched. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. And vice versa, if you want to take a 16 by nine and put it on this display, that's why you see the black bars on the tops and the bottoms. So it keeps that same 16 by nine ratio. Does that make sense? So this is a really, really old technology. So these are before laser discs. These are actually a giant CD. It's not even a DVD, it's a CD. So this disc right here holds the same exact amount of data as a CD does, just in a much bigger format, right? And it's double-sided. So one side, two sides, you play it for 45 minutes on one side, and then you flip it over 45 minutes on the other side. Coax, connecting the back of this, right? There's coax that goes from here to here. On the VCR here, we're connecting it via the RCA cables. Which one could hold more data, the coax cable or the RCA cable? Only because, only because on the RCA you have three of them. So that's that's the trick. If you're just using one of those RCAs, not as good as a coax. But all three, now better than a coax, right? You have to do these things yourself. It's just like doing the CAT6 tables. It's just like running all the Ethernet stuff. You have to do it yourself.